This is a really beautiful part we're very proud of. It's an interlocking bearing and it's used in a high efficiency wind turbine. So what ends up happening is when this needed to be changed out after 50 hours of service with the previous material, it was very expensive and time consuming for them to uh, shut their equipment down, the manpower to change out the components. So now that they're seeing years of service, they've saved a tremendous amount of money. We sell them as a set, but each piece has very precise tolerance and surface finish so that they glide together effortlessly and smoothly. We match the surface finish of the ID bearing and the OD bearing. Hi, I'm Christine Murphy. We're here from International Ceramic Engineering. Our company is a leader in the manufacture of ceramics and plastics. Um, another part that we're very proud of is a pump part. This is a zirconium material and the surface finish on the piston is so tight that it um, draws a vacuum once it's being pumped used for fluid metering, uh, water filtration, water analysis. This is an interlocking spacer and um, as you can see with this particular design there are coils, heating coils, that go through each one of these holes as through here and it goes through a tunnel kiln in a furnace. It keeps the coils separated so they have continuous even flow of heat. This is a wafer that's used in the semiconductor industry. It's got very precise diameter holes to get a very precise surface finish and it's, it's a very time consuming process to get to this particular finished product uh, because we have something that's flat for a total indicator run out of about a half a thousand point zero 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 five and then of course the surface finish has to be polished so that when this is on a chuck it draws a vacuum so it's very very tightly tolerant. We work with um, a family of ceramic materials. We start with powders for, we have three different bodies of aluminum oxide, several different bodies of zirconia, uh, steatite, mullite, and cordierite materials that all have different features that make them ideal for different applications. Some are more thermally conductive, some are more thermally insulative, some have better electrical isolation, and some have better um, mechanical strength. Okay, so what we do is we start with powders and we add binders. So our powder processing is such that the material gets relatively uh, malleable and we isopress and form it to a billet or um, we can also cast it at that point or we could force it through an extrusion die. We sinter it in our furnace, we take it up to about 1750 C and once it burns off all the binders it shrinks to its finished size. This is a component that's been green machined. It's from a pressed billet of powder, the features are machined in, and then after we sinter, you're looking at approximately 17% shrinkage from before sintering to after. We do a good job of calculating out dimensions and tolerances, factoring in what the shrinkage rate should be. So when, when ceramics come out of the furnace, they're considered to be as fired, and we want to get them tighter tolerance or a better surface finish. We call it diamond grinding or lapping. And we take it to the floor. It's, it's a wet grinding process because this material, the only thing that can abrade away or change the geometry is diamond because it's the only thing harder. We have liquid or coolant running on the surface and we have diamond wheels and drills doing the work to bring a very tight tolerance. That's why it looks like jewelry. It looks like glass. It's so shiny. If it's designed properly, the mechanical strength um, is outstanding. It can withstand 350,000 PSI. First we'll, we'll uh, evaluate whether ceramics will work for what you're doing. Then we'll help you with the material selection. We can also help you with the design. We will help you um, with the geometry to make sure it's going to have a hardy design for what you're looking for it to do. Once we do that we do prototyping, we do some R&D work, we'll make a few samples and then if you try them out and we can tweak it from there.